Hello, good to be with you again. As we're looking at the book of James, James had just told us that we need to resist talking too much. We need to listen more. He said, receive with humility the word of God written upon our hearts. But then he wants to let us know as well, during a season of trial and temptation, it's important not just to listen, but it's so important to obey. You know, a lot of us know so much about the word, myself included, but it doesn't come just by knowledge. It comes by practice. And that's why James says in chapter 1, verse 22, prove yourselves to be doers of the word and not merely hearers who delude themselves. He's saying, don't fool yourself. It's really tempting to just be filled up with the knowledge of the word and to talk it, talk it all the time. But the truth is that that's just a way to fool ourselves because the real proof of whether the word of God has touched our hearts is that we practice it. We practice what we preach. We live what we know. He says, if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he's like a man who looks at his natural face in a mirror. For once he has looked at himself and gone away, he has immediately forgotten what kind of person he was. See, the word of God in our lives is like a mirror. When we look at it, it shows us. It shows us ourselves. It shows us the things that are right, that we're doing, that bring the blessing and the character of God into our lives, but it also shows us the place that needs to be improved. It's ridiculous to get up in the morning and see that you have your hair is all askew and, you know, you need to wash your face. And, but you just look and then you walk away. The Word of God was never meant to be that for us. As we receive the Word and graft it in our hearts, as we listen to the Lord, we also realize that obedience is the only way to prove that we've truly heard the voice of God. He goes on to say, one who looks intently at the perfect law, the law of liberty, and abides by it, not having become a forgetful hearer, but an effectual doer, this man shall be blessed in what he does. See, sometimes he's saying, you can just enter into religion and learn the word of God. But when you look at the Bible, it should be the law of liberty. The law of being free to follow Christ. The laws of Jesus is to learn to love one another to walk in love. It's a life-giving, life-freeing law. A lot of times Christians will say, oh, we're not under the law. Well, that's not necessarily true. We might not be under the old covenant law, but we are under a law of liberty. To be free from the power of sin, free from fear, free from frustration and anger and malice, and now we're free to live in the joy of the Lord. In this passage here, it ends up saying, this man shall be blessed in what he does. I'm, encour I'm encouraging myself today, and I want to encourage you. Let's obey the Lord. Do what we know the Word has taught us to do, and that is the path of blessing at the end of the trial.